Alright, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It is Timo here, and tonight I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. This is another story. If you don't follow my Twitter, I said I was going to make this story just to tell you guys a funny experience I had. A little bit of an awkward one, but still funny. So, let's go. So just like any normal senior going into high school, you always got to look fresh. I know I sound really white for saying this, but you always got to look good on your first day, you know. You want to show all the sophomores, the freshmen, the juniors, who's boss, you know. So me being a killer, not really, I'm kidding. Me just being a normal fucking person, I go to the barber shop. So I go ahead, you know, I give them my name, go ahead and just sit down in the chair after waiting for like 15 minutes, which I was already highly upset about, but it was all good in the end, because I was able to sit down and get my fucking haircut. So I go ahead, I sit in my chair, my long, well, it's not even that long, dude. Like, it was, it was pretty long, don't get me wrong, but it was still a good size. I thought it looked great, but my mom was bitching, I didn't want to hear a bitch anymore, so I go, I went ahead and made my appointment, just sat down, and was just wanting to get it done. What made this very, very weird at the start was, she went over and she's like, wow, you have really, really nice hair, I love it, I like how it flows, I like the texture, and I'm like, thanks, it's normal fucking hair, but if you just want to flatter me, then I'm very flattered, but please do not say that shit to me. So she went ahead, she asked me what I want done, so I told her, can you please, like, you know, shave the sides, and then just trim on the top, comb that bitch over, and we be good. So I don't know if she was, like, a teacher or something, but she asked me way too many fucking questions. I thought I was taking the SATs with the 20,000 fucking questions she was asking me. She was asking me if I wanted this, this, and this cut, and I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. I thought you went to school for this. You should be able to know what the hell you're supposed to be doing at this certain situation. I guess not, but it's okay with me, whatever, I'll just say yes because I'll just act smart, act like I know what the fuck I want when all I want is a goddamn haircut. Jesus Christ, I've been talking for a while, now I don't think I can breathe, up, oh, I'm dead. So she goes ahead and starts turning on the razor to do my hair, and I don't know if you've ever been to a barber who does this, but don't you just sit down and don't talk and hope they don't fucking talk to you? Cause that's what I did. I go ahead, I sit down, she has these fucking razors square in my fucking ear, dude. I couldn't hear shit. And she tried having a full fucking conversation with me. All I kept hearing was... And I felt so bad I wasn't answering any of her fucking questions, but I couldn't fucking answer what I couldn't hear. So she's asking me about my life, what I want to do when I get older, blah, blah, blah. And I can barely hear her, because remember... But you know, I really do try my best. I really, really do. I don't want her to feel left out. I don't want her talking to herself. So I go ahead, I try answering the best of my abilities. I probably answered to repeat herself about 14 times, but it's okay because we still had a nice conversation. I don't know if you guys dislike this as well, but don't you hate when they're giving you your haircut and then they fucking walk in front of you to do the front of your hair and all you have is their fucking arm dangling? I don't want to stare at your fucking arm. I want to get my hair cut and just get out of there so I can slay some bitches, you know? That's that's what every fucking 17-year-old teenager wants to do, am I right? Now, I really do feel bad that you guys have to hear me like this, but I am genuinely pissed about my experience, and I'm still recovering from it to this day. So I really am sorry for the short video, guys. Uh, it's just mostly what it was about me. Trying not to have the conversation with the lady doing my hair because I couldn't hear a goddamn thing she said. And I really did feel bad having to ask her to repeat herself like four times. But in the end, I ended up looking like a fancy motherfucker and ended up slaying 14 bitches that night. No, I'm kidding. It was only 13 and a half because I don't think you count dogs. But no more joking around, guys. That is going to end the video. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you want to see more, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and like the video if you want to see more and hear more stories. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.